All right, so I'm gonna just make a cu uh, quick video, show people how to actually publish a copy, make sure there's no bugs, and if there are, to fix them. Um, so obviously I'm gonna give people copies, and when you get the copy, you download it. You left click it, launch it, this should pop up. When you do that, this pops up. You obviously wanna publish it under whatever. You could publish it under yourself, and all the group funds, uh, permissions will be under you. But if you want more flexibility, you want to do group payouts and stuff like that, you want the money to go to the group, you'd uh, make the creator whatever group you have, right? When you do that, you pretty much published it, you're all good, right? So let's just say I already published it. Now you have this, right? So first, for example, this was on, right? And you tried to hop into the game. We have to wait for this to publish. So say you're loading in, right? Like this, and then this a message appears. It says you're not in the group. Uh, what you have to do is go to the group, the script, there's search up group, or um, yeah, it's just it's pretty much group or whatever message appears here, whatever the exact message is, you do control shift F and then it's this message, right? You do control shift F, type it here, and it will show you wherever the message is. You double click it and it brings you there. Then you find the ID part and you take the ID and for example if you wanted to whitelist only yourself, you take your ID, which is here, copy it and paste it here. If you wanted to so whoever is in a specific group such as you know my group or shows in ink you'd grab the id you'd put it in here and you'd save whatever edit you did to the game right and then you'd have to publish and then you know it publish once you do all of that right when this publishes that is when you all the updates have been applied to the game so you have to wait for the message to appear. And when that message appears, you click play and launch the game. And that message appeared. I click play. Wait for the game to launch. And I should be all good. So if you are whitelisted, this is how the game should work. It shouldn't show that error anymore. And it should just say... It shouldn't say anything, actually. It should just allow you into the game. No uh, message required. So far, a good sign. It hasn't kicked me out. So, yeah, it worked. So, I loaded into the game. But as you can see, my Naruto, whatever set thing, skin, stuff, has not loaded in. And my skill leaderboard hasn't loaded in. That loaded in and I cannot press M, that works. So obviously the whole UI is a little buggy, I can't melee, I can't double jump, stuff like that, right? I can't even dash. The way to fix that is, you go over here, click on home, you go to game settings, avatar, and you'd have to set it under R6. Once you've set it under R6, and just you know leave everything default over here, don't touch all the bottom stuff unless you want to. You click save and it says this, it will shut down any running games, click yes. Now that's clicked that, you will click play and then it should load in. It should load in the whole UI, everything should work, leaderboard should work, etc. And this is how that looks. So I'm loading in right now. All right. My orb should disappear if I'm fully loaded in, right? Since I fixed it, yeah, see, loading in it even put up the whole you know username roleplay type stuff. Okay, I put in my username. All that leaderboard up here works. That works. Does my skill tree work? Yep, even the skill tree works. I could select substitute. Example, I want to get Earth Pillar. I got Earth Pillar. <coughs> And now that worked. But as you could have told, I do not have hand sign animations or like, you know, basic animations, double jump, wall climb, stuff like that. Um, 
how to fix that is you obviously go to the game right um when you do that uh, i think i have to grab something actually did i all right well this is the easy way of doing it you'd get a spoofer which is like this this is an a plugin some people don't trust plugins because they could have hacks behind them wait one second my mic my timer all right i'm back um so you get a plugin which makes your life easier but there comes the risk of you know uh some back doors and it's not secure um so for example we want to do hand sign animations and this applies to every animation in the game not just hand signs but you take the id of the animation you can type animations to get all the animations in the game space the name of the animation you would put in the id and wait, i should have showed in all right so the spoofer is kind of cool because it shows you the actual animation and how it looks you click convert and now here's the important part if you upload it to the creator as me then the animation will only work in games where the publisher of the game is also you if the plugin or if the uh, animation is uploaded under someone else whoever the publisher is the animation also has to match whatever the game was published under so for example I published it under thou Vax's group the animation the group also has to have the game published underneath it as well otherwise uh, Roblox would be like uh, you're not allowed to do that you can't use other people's stuff etc so for example it's published under me right now I'm pretty sure I'm gonna publish that then I'm gonna copy the ID and then for every single animation I'm going to change it but for right now I changed one an easy way to change all of these is to just left click scroll all the way down and then shift left click this selects everything but then you just want to look right, right here at animation ID and then after you copy the ID do control V paste it in and every animation should have changed right so now you publish it to make sure all these changes have saved and you wait for the message right and I'm a I'm a you know go to the next clip where everything works I just have to wait for this now another way of setting this all up doing all the animations um, a less a more secure way is to use this that I'll probably put in the description you for this section right here animation number thingy here you put in the uh, ID of whatever group you click enter then you go to where it says right here game dot lightning or lighting and so game is up here and then you go to lighting and then it will put I'm pretty sure it's this one right here yeah it's this one then you obviously click save to Roblox and then you click under me I'm gonna click on the sprint All right submit then you take the uh, ID when you take the ID you have to go find it again uh, that's, I'm just like a litter or something I swear to god alright then you find sprint again you copy and you paste it it's kind of more time consuming but more secure if you don't want to install plugins so up to you and then you obviously publish and you're all done with that and now that's let's show you the results of that okay so now we're in game right and so we did hand signs and sprint but I think I did the wrong sprint but we did hand signs right and so now we have hand sign animations and that worked all right and so now on to admin and all that so I'm gonna launch into the game so I can show a point but from here you're gonna have to go to on it kind of differs depending on the copy but most copies do use this right here so you go to the right you go to config settings 
and then inside of settings there is going to be a whitelist called settings.creators the people's names in here are the peoples that will have perms so what you should do is you go to your profile and you need this right here this name you type it and you put it here you could also put your ID it doesn't really matter and it goes here and now as you notice I don't really have anything here and if I do like CMVS okay that's not well, since I'm the owner of this I automatically get perms so I already have all the perms like fly me 20 right yeah um and so you'd put in your username or your ID you'd s if you want to put more people you'd you know space it like this like this bracket there when you're done with that you'd save it and you're obviously gonna have access to a bunch of commands and to see all the commands they're in here and stuff like that um if you want to see naruto specific i'm pretty sure they're in here yep they are it's in plugins and then naruto online right go all the way over here all of these set kek and stuff like that um if you want to know like the exact kek numbers you can just search up like some random clan right and then you got the kek saw right here to get all of them and if you're more advanced, you can just change certain stuff, add new clans, etc. Um, and that's about it. Honestly, I think that's about it. So, I covered in the modules, or models, then I covered the animations, and the light list. There isn't much else to cover. That's pretty much all the basics for people that want to get into, uh... You know, setting up a copy, adding everything. Um, you know, all the custom plugins that come with copies. Um, you can learn some more advanced stuff from just looking up, you know, how to Lua script. Uh, I think it's Lua something for Roblox. Roblox has a special kind of Lua. Um, and so, yeah, that's pretty much the basics and everything you need to actually have a running game. You set up all the animations and you should be fine. There's a fall. No, there isn't. So here's the running animation like this. I added that. So there, you know, it's just a, it's just time consuming to add the animations. Um, but I think give me I don't know fire, right? It gives me fireball. I added fireball animations. Yeah, all the animations worked. Everything looks fine. And so if you need to do anything, any of the uh, stuff that I covered, just go back. I'm probably gonna add timestamps, and that's about it. There's nothing else. So, share the video, let people know that there's, you know, copies for people to use if they want to make their own game. And that's it. That's pretty much nothing else. Um, yeah, enjoy.